is up everyone it is your boy the bear and today we're going to be reacting to a great song this song right here has got me through so much of my life my when my at my lowest i could throw this song on and it makes me better it makes me smile it makes me feel so much better this song is from an english rock group off their 11th album it was released as a single in 1980 with hey you as the b-side the music was composed by David Gilmore, who is just fantastic. And the lyrics were written by the great Roger Waters. Now, if you can't guess by just those names alone, this song is by Pink Floyd. It is one of their most well-known songs. It's known all across the world. Most notable for the two guitar solos in this song. In 2004, it was ranked Number 314 on the Rolling Stones magazine's list of 500 greatest songs of all time. It was re-ranked to 321 in 2010. This song is just the bee's knees, as these kids say. But I'm not the one that's going to be reacting to this. I'm here to watch somebody else react to it. And that person is the one, the only, Free Berg. How you doing, Freeberg? How you doing, Freeberg? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Now, just by li listening to what I just said about this song, what do you think? I think that there's a very strong, powerful meaning behind it. Are you excited to react to this? Yes, are you? I'm always re excited to react to this. Ladies and gentlemen, the song that we're going to be reacting to is Comfortably Numb by Pink Floyd. Let's do this. What do you think so far? That the dude is depressed. <laughs> That's it? And that he don't feel nothing no more because he's already felt it all. You know, that's exactly how I look at this song. Exactly what you just said. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it, you get to that point in your life where you felt everything, where you've been through it all. And 
at that point, you are just so numb that you're comfortable. Like you're content. You're content in life. You ready for some more? Yeah. How comfortably numb. Anything on that? That's sad. Just sad. Like very sad. It's such a good song though. Do you get the meaning though? Like when you're a child. I don't know. I feel like I have a different meaning than what it's supposed to be. My, what I think it means is. What does like, it mean to you? When you're little, you could go through. You know, kids. Some kid like nowadays, kids do go through a lot. Right? Mm -hmm. Teenagers do. And then when they get older, like, they have, like, a dream to do. And then when they get older, they, like, like they don't do it because, like, there's no, they feel like there's no point, I guess you could say. Then they get stuck down with life and then they become comfortably numb. Mm hmm I get that. I could, I could actually see that. That's one thing I love about music, y'all, is music is, is interpreted, self-interpreted. What I could hear this, when I hear this song, it could be something completely different from what you hear when you hear this song. Mm -hmm. And that's how I feel about this song. Like for me, it's just you, you do, like you said in the beginning, like you do so much and sooner or later it gets to a breaking point, to, to a breaking point where you just don't care no more, where your when your life is there, you know, when your life gets to that point, there's just, there's just no more, you know, there's nothing you could feel. Yeah, you, you're numb. You're numb to the world. You're numb to pain. You're you're numb to the your existence. That's what this song means to me. This song's actually good though. It's so good. You ready for some more?
I like it. That was comfortably numb. What do you think? I like it. I love it, actually. You love it? Love it. Love it? Love it. Absolutely love it or just love it? Absolutely, ten billion, trillion, love it. <laughs> so what is it about this song that you like? Um, I think it's like the meaning that I've created up in my head of what it meant. I like. You know, I also like the guitar. I like his voice with it. Like, I can't really see anyone else's voice with this song. Like, it has to be Roger Waters? Yeah. It, it's, like I said, it's just one of those songs when I'm just, Down. when I'm over, when I'm overwhelmed with life, you could just throw this song on and it's there. You know what I mean? It's, it's there. Like, it could put just a smile on your face. Yeah. I don't know, it's like a song you would cry to. You could cry to this song? Yeah. That's just probably me, though. <laughs> this is... I, I just... I think it's one of the best songs. Um, one of To me, it's one of the best songs ever written. Uh, Roger Waters, I think, he knew what he was talking about when he wrote the song. He must have been in a very dark place. Had to have. Had to have. So on a so would this go on the playlist or is it too dark to go on your playlist? It would go to two playlists. Which two playlists would you put on on? My sad one, like when you're like feeling sad, and then like my rock and roll playlist. Would you put this on the same the same playlist as when a man loves a woman? Oh my god! <laughs> 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 yes, <laughs> I'm gonna make a new playlist and put it under. Songs I listen to while recording a video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I just I just think this is the one of the most well written songs. It has so many double entendres. Uh you know, like you said, if you, you know, this could also be one of those songs that you put on, you know, when you're that depressed after a hard days of work and you just want to break down and cry. Mm -hmm. You could put this song on and and it's everything. It's like a like a jammy jam I would listen to while walking down the halls at school. <laughs> Cause you're, com you're I'm comfortably numb, numb with, with with work. <laughs> I mean, with school work. <laughs> yeah, I'm like over it. I just I just really like this song. I like it too. I swear, I feel like I was born to be born in like the '80s, like that area. Why do you say that? Cause I like this, like not the not my generation's music as much, but I like. Older music. Like the songs I've been showing you? Yes. Like When a Man Loves a Woman, Comfortably Numb, Now. Um, there's been a lot of Bohemian Rhapsody is one of your favorite. I just really like it. Me too. Any closing thoughts on this song before we go? I think everyone out here should be listening to the song, no matter what age you are. <laughs> it's a good saying. I just want to thank everybody out here for taking your time out to spend the evening with us listening to Comfortably Numb. My name is The Bear. That's Freeberg, also known as Chew. Or that's Freeberg, also known as Chew. <laughs> um, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Smash the like button. Share this video. And comment down below. Let us know what your thoughts are. When was the first time that you listened to Comfortably Numb? What were you doing? We'd like to know. 
We hope you all have a good day. Stay blessed. And as always, deuces. deuces. And keep rocking. Rocking and rolling. <laughs>